Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, I'm going to talk about three of my favorite airlines ever as well as three of the worst airlines I've ever ridden in. And that video is going to come up right now. To no surprise to anyone, the best airline I've ever ridden ever is going to be Singapore Airlines. This airline, even in economy, was already amazing. It was very comfortable in economy. They had really delicious food in economy. And I am looking forward to flying business or even first one day using my points and miles because if their economy is already that good, I can't imagine how good their business and first class will be. Second one on the list is Eva Air. So I've flown on Eva Air on economy and business class and they were both fantastic. In economy, it was very comfortable. The food was amazing. The entertainment was really good. In business class, oh my God, it was over the top. It actually felt like a first class experience. They had a lay flat seat so you can lay down fully and sleep. They also had amazing food. As a matter of fact, they gave you way too much food and the entertainment was amazing. So I would say Eva Air is almost tied with Singapore Airlines as one of the best airlines in the world. Third one on the list is Avianca in South America. So Avianca is a Colombian airline and this airline really took me by surprise. Again, it's very similar to Eva Air or Singapore Airlines where the seats were comfortable even in economy. I've never flown in business yet, but in economy it was already comfortable. The food was delicious. The entertainment was great. Customer service was also fantastic. I have nothing bad to say about this airline and I always look forward to fly on this airline. So I hope that the next time I fly to South America, I get to fly on Avianca again because this airline is awesome. Now the three worst airlines I've ever flown in in my life, to no surprise to everyone, the first one is United Airlines. So this airline is awful. Okay, just checking in to get to the flight is already an awful process. And then once you get to your seats, if you somehow get unlucky and you're sitting by the washroom or if you're sitting by the emergency exit, the seat, it doesn't recline back. So you're like stuck in this like stiff upward position the whole time, which will make your back hurt like hell. And they don't have much amenities in United Airlines as well. Everything you have to pay for, making this airline one of the worst airlines in the world. Second one on the list is Carpat Air. This is an airline that flies out of Romania. I don't remember much about this airline other than it was really old and it sucked. I mean, there's a lot of airlines out there that are old, such as if you fly on Allegiant Air going from Bellingham to Las Vegas. But even though the airline is really budget, I don't have much expectation for it because it's just a short flight between Bellingham and Las Vegas. So I remember Carpet Air was kind of like an Allegiant airline, but I expected more because it was in Europe and this airplane felt like I was in an old Soviet airplane. Anyways, trust me, it's not a good airline. Next one on the list is Egypt Air. So same problem as United Airlines where the seat, it's very uncomfortable where I felt like my lower back was hurting a lot. Now this only applies to their international flight, their domestic routes, their airplane is actually pretty good. So I was surprised that their international flight with Egypt Air is quite bad. So anyways, those are my top three favorite airlines ever and three of the worst airlines I've ever ridden in. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10 step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips, strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.